Did they become my girl for perfect attendance or was it because of a connection? So I settled with who was consistent, but you were never emotionally there. Yeah, and so we uh, a lot of times let our hearts settle where there is no expectation. So we love who questions us the least. We love who challenges us the least. We love who demands from us the least. Oh, that's a good girl right there. <laughs> When I heard this, it reminded me of the motto for the show Survivor. What is it? Outplay, outlast, outwit. You don't want to be with a man because you were the only one that would allow the level of disrespect that he gave you. You don't want to be with a man because you have taken your time over the years and chased every woman off. You fought this one here in the street. You called this one and, and talked to her at the job. Like You don't want an exhausted, tired man that's like, you know what? Woo! I put this woman through the ringer, writing all those long Facebook posts about how we've been through our ups and downs and the downs was just him cheating on you multiple times, you taking him back. You don't want it like this. You don't want an exhausted man that you have to finally drag to the altar who's like, you know what? Nobody else is going to ever put up with all this, but she did. She's a real one. It's sad that there are so many women out there who will take this kind of exhausted man who will take a man who has cheated on them for years and years and years. And he's finally like, you know what? Woo! I have done everything I ever wanted to do while I was with you. But now I'm finally tired. And I, it's time to give somebody a ring. And you're still here. So let's just go ahead and give it to you. You don't want the kind of love that has tested you repeatedly. That has disrespected you repeatedly. That requires you to pretend that you don't see all the blatant signs that are there. Because you know that if you see them, you'll have to say something. And then you have to make a decision that you're not ready to make about leaving him. You don't want to act like you don't see the him putting his phone underneath the pillow and sleeping with it like that at night. You don't want to act like all of a sudden he's secretive about his passcode. You don't want to have to play dumb in order to stay with a man. And just because you get a man, because he finally, after everything he put you through, he's finally like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and be with you. You haven't won anything. He's still not a prize and you still didn't win. The kind of man that you get after years of sacrificing your self-esteem, your self-respect, your, your dignity is simply not worth having.